Okay, so in this video we're going to talk mainly about the uh, preset feature in Betaflight 4.3. But before I get into all that, I do want to have a little bit of a PSA at the beginning of this video. Um, a lot of you guys have asked me why I've been uh, no longer providing CLI dumps and actually removing them from my old videos. And the reason is um, there's been some malicious stuff been going on where someone on Facebook and they seem to create accounts then delete accounts. They've been targeting um, new pilots or noobs, I guess we call them, you know, people that are inexperienced. And whenever they go around asking for a CLI dump for XYZ quad, they, they provide them a, a malicious CLI dump that uh, basically burns their motors. So they say, oh, I got this from one of Albert Kim's videos. It's a great PID tune. You're gonna, it's gonna be perfect for your quad. They go ahead and apply that to their CLI dump and I'll I'll show you what it looks like here. I actually got, I got one from one of these guys that contacted me. It's kind of kind of amazing. Basically, all the sliders are to the to the extreme, so that you, the, as soon as you take it's, it's just, as soon as you arm, it goes totally berserk, and then the motors and the ESCs burn. So um, I'm not sure why these people are doing it. Um, these obviously are not my CLI dumps. They're just malicious uh, dumps to target. People that don't know what they're doing. So, uh, if you are one of those people looking for CLA dumps, um, know that I'm no longer providing them, and I'm, I'm actually removing them from all my videos to prevent this. Just so you should pass on the word that I'm not providing this anymore. And the alternative is this video and using the presets for Beta Flight 4.3 to get good tunes for your quad. Anyway, the quad you're seeing here is another one of these from TCMMRC. Uh, the uh, there's the store from AliExpress and I did a, I think a couple of five inch quads before and this was the next one on the list that you guys wanted to see so you know let me know in the comments if you want to see something else from their store I'll go and pick it up this was like $88 again I believe so yeah budget quad definitely has a lot of limitations and obviously one of them is that it doesn't come with any kind of pit tune so that's why I'm making this video this is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, flash the latest version of Betaflight and then apply a preset that's going to be appropriate for this and this is why I'm going to show you that's why I'm making this video to so show you how to do that and I'll have obviously a review video on this one a little bit later but I figure I make this video show you how to how I get my pit tunes now and, and I do want to stress that these are just starting points they're not going to be a perfect pit tune because there's really no such thing um, you're going to want to sort of tweak it a little bit to your to your liking because it's kind of subjective as to what you're going to like um, but anyway let's go to the computer and I'll show you how to get this on uh, a new pit tune on here really quickly so you can get up in the air and then uh, start tweaking it from there all right so connect up your flight controller to beta flight and hit connect and we can see here that the board is TCMM F411 is the target so we'll go ahead and disconnect and then we'll hit update firmware and it should show up here as TCMM F411 as your target. If not, hit this auto detect button and it should populate that in there just in case it doesn't. And the latest version is 4.3.1 December or this is sorry July 12th uh, 2022 and we'll hit load firmware online and we'll go ahead and hit flash. I'm going to go ahead and erase that and we'll flash 431 on here. I think 430 was on there with absolutely no tune whatsoever. Okay, so once it's finished flashing, go ahead and hit connect and hit apply custom defaults. It's going to reboot. And hit connect again. And it's saying that the accelerometer is enabled, but calibrate. So go ahead and we'll calibrate and make sure your quad is on a flat surface and I'll go ahead and calibrate the accelerometer. So the next thing you want to do is hit, go hit the uh, presets on the left here and you want to search for one that's appropriate for your quad. So obviously this one is a three inch. So right here is a three inch tune. That's a potential one that I could use. There might be some other ones on here. The reason that I think this is a good way to go is that these are tunes that um, other people have flown and they'll have the correct filters and stuff for the size of quad. So for example, if you have a three inch toothpick, something that's lighter, maybe this one would be better. This one's not a toothpick, so that's probably not appropriate. 
there are other types of presets here for like Express LRS, for example, for the type of receiver you have. Um, so you can choose different ones based on the uh, ones in your, uh, with the type of quad you have. So obviously it's gonna really depend on what you have. So for me, I think I'm gonna go with this one I saw first here, this uh, three inch tiny trainer tune. That seems about right. So we'll get, click on this. And then here, you have to click this little filter dialog or this drop down menu. And I don't have RPM filter set on this one yet, but I will be flashing BlueJay to the um, ESCs because these are BLLS ESCs. I have a video, another video on that one on how to do that. I'll link that in the video description. And so I'll go ahead with that. And I believe this motor is a 1408 and has 12 poles. So I'll hit that. So you got to make sure you know your quad and set the appropriate um, options so that they will put all those options into the um, settings uh, in Betaflight. And so I'm going to go ahead and set all these other options as well. Uh, VBAT set, SAG up to 100, small angle to 180, and uh, TPS settings to all rate profiles. So it does show here a little bit of um, information about what this uh, preset's all about. And it does say, okay, best on 3S batteries, uh, 450 to 550 uh, with 1404 motors. So the one I've got here has 1408 motors, so uh, it might need a little bit of tweaking. And it's also saying that um, the 48 kilohertz on the ESC is probably best. So it gives you some sort of background on how to, or what this would be good for. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this. I think this is gonna be okay. Obviously, if it isn't, I can just come back here and apply a different preset. Okay, so I'm gonna hit pick, and then I'm gonna hit agree, and then I'm going to hit save and reboot. And it's gonna go ahead and apply those settings. And that's pretty much it in terms of getting the basic tune on there. Obviously, uh, for the rest of the setup of the quad, it depends on what your receiver is, your video transmitter, um, the modes you want to set. So this is not a, an overall tutorial on how to do basic um, beta flight setup. I've done videos on that one before. Um, but yeah, so just basically it's just gonna get you on the latest beta flight with some sort of a, you know, uh, a basic tune on there. Obviously this is gonna require some modification. It's not gonna be perfect. It's just a starting point. So just wanted to make sure that you guys understand that. And yeah, I'm not gonna be doing CLA dumps anymore. I think this is a safer way of going. Um, the presets on here are kind of from known places and it'll apply it to your uh, quad correctly versus where if you get some random CLA dump from somewhere it might not work for your flight controller if it's not for the exact same setup. I've seen that a lot where oh it looks like it's for the same quad but there's like a different gyro or maybe it's like different ESCs, different motors and bad things happen because it's not really meant for that setup. Anyway that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Talk to you guys in the next video.